Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm at a special woodsy scene because guess what? We have one heck of a supersized off-roader for you. And what is it? It's this truck right here. The first ever all new 2024 GMC Sierra 2500 HD AT4X. I'm not done. AEV equipped. But before we get into this volcanic red, that's what they call this color, volcanic red super size off-roader, let's talk about what's going on here. Quite interesting to see these large and in charge kind of trucks that are normally used for work duty, towing, you know, carrying loads of pay, payload or pay, maybe money, bags of money in the back. But you know what? It's interesting to see how these trucks are becoming specialized, especially when you look at this AT4X. Now, what's fascinating is there is a sister version to this truck. Of course, that would be the Silverado ZR2, 2500 HD ZR2 Bison Edition, but there's also the Challengers from Ram and specifically Ford with the Tremor Super Duty lineup. So what I wanna find out is, did GMC make the right decision making their HD into an off-roader with this AT4X, or are you better off going the Ford F-250 route and getting a Tremor? Let's go ahead, let's dive into our AT4X AEV edition and find out. Right off the bat, the color. I love volcanic red. It really sparkles nicely like a ruby. Now at the front of business, you'll see that almost C-shaped interlocking headlight design, nice massive LED turn signal and daytime running lamp. We have our double stacked headlight, LED headlight inside. And I love just how clean everything is and the way it interlocks. Now, it's interesting that we're comparing this to the Tremor because remember the Tremor also has a C-shaped, more of a C. This one, it's like the top part, but it doesn't have the bottom part. So let me know which headlight design you like better. Now, as we drop down, I mentioned AEV, and AEV is bringing superiority when it comes to off-roading. We have stamped steel front bumpers, rear bumpers. You do have projector beam, LED fog lamps. I wish that it didn't have this fake vent area because if you notice, it's nice and open here. This has got to go, so I am going to zonk it, but you do have your area to put your recovery hooks so that you could pull those tremors out of the mud, out of the quicksand. We come across that beautiful grill with that GMC badge, General Motors Truck Company. I love the satin steel appearance of the grill. We do have a forward facing camera and a washer, which is important when you're off-roading. And then you also notice our little bits of gloss black, but fully functional. And then we also have our AT4X. So remember, AT4 is off-roading, X is extreme, takes it to the next level, and then this one has the special goodies from AEV. We drop down, there is our bison badge. This isn't called a bison, but there's our bison badge with the AEV in the center there. Like I said, stamp steel. You have 11.8 inches of ground clearance, 11.8. Then you have stamp steel skid plates all along the belly of this beast to protect those inner bits, but I really am digging the style. Now, when you look at the Tremor, I feel like the Tremor just looks a little bit more dated. Even though it's got a refresh, I just still feel it looks dated compared to the GMC. Now, as we rise up, the good news is you have a bulge and a functional hood scoop for that Duramax turbo diesel engine. Love the way it's all body colored. And then you have the flat black inside the scoop that nice bulge going on. And then as we go around the bend, you are gonna get specific wheels and tires for this bad boy. We come on in, what do we have? These gloss black multi-spoke 18 inch wheel. I'm surprised it's not a B-lock wheel, especially when you look at the price point of this, but you have 35 inch tires, 305s up front, 70 series sidewall, and you've got the protection. That sidewall, ow. That sidewall protection that's gonna stop things like sharp objects from penetrating the side of the tire. That's what all that shielding does. And these are Goodyear Wrangler territory 
tires. So they do the business, they take the beating, and they actually hurt my hand. But love the way you got the GMC badging there, the AEV, and then Steven's gonna swing around and show off the Multimatic suspension. That is the key recipe in this off-road beast. Dual spool valve technology gives us that great damping at four, all four corners of the vehicle. I like the way they went flat black around the fender openings and you have that traditional design to a GMC. A Chevy is more rounded. This, I like the way it's squared off and you have your GMC side marker lights, which looks good. And speaking of marker lights, of course, we have the LEDs across the top of the roof, which Steven's gonna swing back around to show you that top portion. Nicely done up there, all the way across. Of course, like I said, we have that 6.6 .6 liter Duramax turbo diesel engine. I like the placement of the badge, looks clean. LED lighting in your massive side mirrors. Some gloss black, and remember, these are power extending and power folding. Here's a little fun fact. When the mirrors are fully extended, it's the width of a school bus. That's mind blowing. Of course, we have our AT4X HD badging, gloss black on the door handles, but watch this. You're gonna need these. You have automatic running, automatic dropping running boards there. Yeah, I love the way they kind of just quickly go right back up. Of course, that four door superiority. I don't know why I'm still holding this. Sidestep action. Some people like to get a little bit of a sidestep going on, easy to get in and out of the bed. You'll notice as we come towards the rear, the rear suspension, especially with those multi-matic dampers, like I said, all four corners, you can even see underneath that the, the drive shaft going to the rear differential. Remember, we have a two-speed transfer case, rear locking diff. I mean, this thing has all of the credentials you want for that off-road superiority. Now, when we come around the back, stamp steel rear bumpers, and then, of course, you're going to have that multi-flex rear tailgate with all the badging. I wish they would have blacked out the badging. Let me know if you, if you would like to see the badging blacked out, but of course, this is the big one. AEV, looking good. You got your tow hook area locations to put on. And I think the way they do the tail lights, I think they're my favorite out of all the full-size trucks, to be honest with you. Great shape, nice bright lighting. Of course, you're gonna have your full tow capability. Look at that massive single outlet exhaust for our turbo diesel engine, you could put a hot dog in there and fire it out of there like a freaking cruise missile. Plus, you have your spare tire actually mounted higher underneath so it, doesn't, it isn't dangling down. Nobody wants any dangly bits just dangling around on the ground. You don't have to worry about that with this truck. Now, when it comes to the rear, obviously, you can hit the top portion and you could open it up this way. You could do that. You could also go like this. Bring the whole nice soft release. Look at that, perfect. Now I'm gonna take this part, you can lift it up again, and then bam, woo! Step, plus we have the kicker sound system. You plug in your phone, and you can go through all your songs and your speaker system. Here's where your USB and your aux jack is. My only zonk for this is that the speaker brand is gonna live up to its name because when you're getting in and out, you wanna be careful not to kick the speaker grill cover and put a dent in it. You do have, of course, your handle to help you out to get in and out. Nice large bed with the bed liner. Look at all the tie down locations, ton of them. And you could add even more on the passenger side. You'll notice we have more LED lighting and we have a home power source. And then you do have a power sliding rear mirror, which is great. So nice to see all that. And then to put this all back, it's actually not too bad. You go like that. The one thing I always have a problem with, I feel like this part, you gotta be careful because look, if you do it like that, it's kind of weird. So I go like that and then I do this. But I like the flat black here. Makes the GMC really pop off. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's happening with it on this AT4X. All right guys, we got that massive hood pop with that functional Hood scoop, you'll notice the turbo diesel engine underneath that hood. Let's talk about the nitty gritty. You have that 6.6 .6 liter Duramax turbo diesel V8, 470 horsepower, 
975 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission, 0 to 60 in 6.6 .6 seconds. Top speed is governed to 98 miles an hour. The truck weighs 8,605 pounds, but yet tows over 18,000 pounds. And then, like I said, you have that hot stamp steel front and rear bumpers and the skid plates and, of course, the two-speed transfer case. Believe it or not, with the weight of this vehicle, it does make it currently the heaviest Sierra available. But while we go ahead, let's fire it up and see this thing move. All right, guys, we are inside this 2024 GMC 2500 HD, a Sierra 2500 HD AT4X AEV edition. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I don't care how long the name is of this truck. What I do care about is that I'm in love and the heart wants what the heart wants. So lay it on me. How much is it? MSRP for the way this one is optioned is $101,000. That seems to be the going rate for most trucks. It's like they're 80 grand and up. But let's see what special touches GMC brings over the Ford Super Duty to the door panels. I love the quality of materials. Leather style material up top. Look at the way they did that texturized material in the center. That's real wood. Real dark stained wood. Steven actually got a splinter on it when he opened up the door. And you'll notice that unique crisscross red stitching. Very classy, very specific to GMC. White contrast stitching, white pi piping, and then that door pocket is big enough for three big Bufords and some checkers fries, and of course, a banana shake to wash it down. We got the Bose sound system. Nice speaker grill cover. And then when you go from the door panel to the dash, they continue the niceties, the stitching, the leather, the piping, the wood. Watch this, that soft touch, you open it up, boom. You have felt lining in here, so you can put your Twinkies, 13 of them to be exact, a baker's dozen, and you don't have to worry about getting your Twinkie scratched. You do have more of that great stitching, even on the sides here, and you have an area for five Nature Valley granola bars. Now just be careful if you do bring the Nature Valley granola bars, make sure you have some paper towels or a plate because they make a freaking mess and you don't want to mess up this beautiful interior. Love the way they put the AC vents above the infotainment system. Nice touch there with the wood that goes all the way to the gauge cluster. And then you have that ginormous over 13 inch infotainment system. Of course you have all of the usual suspects when it comes to the different apps. You got your trailering with your full checklist. I love the way they do that. You could add a trailer, all the different camera angles. That's another biggie on this one, is you go to your cameras. This has more cameras than they used to sell at Circuit City. That's how many different angles you have. When the astronauts landed on the moon, they didn't have as many cameras. I promise you that, but you have them in this truck and then you can see if any astronauts have landed into the bed of your truck or somebody that's just being weird. Real volume knob, I love the way they have this almost aluminum style finish start stop button, dual climate control, heated seats, three stages, and three stages of ventilated seats, which are real nice, real toggle switches. You can lock the rear diff, hill descent control, drop the tailgate if somebody's standing back there and you have your exhaust brake little area for some Snickers bars or Three Musketeers. Here's a fun fact. Did you know Three Musketeers originally used to be three flavored candies in one? Chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. That's why they're called Three Musketeers. GMC, General Motors Truck Company. Of course, you got remote start, really nice. I got a place for some Tootsie Rolls, a USB-C, a USB-A, two cup holders. Release your exhaust there. I mean, your exhaust, your trailer, your exhaust. Wireless charging right in there. And then look at the stitching, the quality 
the leather, the badge AT4X. Open this up. You got plenty of room here. You could put three rolls of paper towels. You got a, a home power source, a USB-A, a USB-C, and you can even put, I would say, a couple ding-dongs in there. I know a few ding-dongs. Usually those are those are my two brothers, Mike and Chris. Those are those are two ding-dongs that I know. But you could put two ding-dongs, which are those cream-filled tasty cakes. You could put them in there. And then the seats. AEV, love the way you got the embroidery with the bison there. AT4X badge, the piping, everything is needlepoint perfect. Full power assist. And then on top of that, you have massage seats in here. So that's how you can live large and in charge. Alcantara on the headliner. The one zonk is it's a standard size sunroof. I wish it had a panoramic sunroof, but the good news is we get the finish on a high note. You do have your digital rear view mirror, which is a nice touch. But why don't you come over here to the business end. I wanna show you behind the wheel and this column shifter in this AT4X HD. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You get two memory seat settings, so you can actually, if you have a friend, you can let them borrow your AT4X HD. Down below, you have the sill plate to remind you you went big. And then, of course, we have our AEV branded all-weather floor mats. That's worth an extra 10 horsepower in my book. Here's all our power seat settings. And you hit this little guy here for the massage seat settings. I love the seats. They're so comfy. Even just sitting here, just talking to you. The seats feel great. Lots of space in here. Steering wheel, leather, and I love the way they did the red stitching on the steering wheel. Flat black on all the switch gear. It is a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. We have our column shifter for a 10-speed automatic, and then you do have your 12-inch digital gauge display, nice clear readouts, and you have a 15-inch head-up display. Plus, you have all your 4x4 controls easy to get to left of the steering wheel. But guess what? We have one more place to look. You know what that is. Let's check out the passenger seats in the back to see are they going to be living large and in charge in your AT4X. All right, guys, back seat time. And this is where you're really going to spoil your rear seat passengers. I mean, you get all the same finishes, the wood trim, the aluminum speaker grill covers, all that great stuff. And then the backs of the seats, you got the leather. Nice size pockets. You could easily get, I would say, two maybe three packages of crazy bread from Little Caesars, two cup holders, heated seats, but no ventilated seats. And to me, that's a zonk at $101,000. I want to chill my passengers out. So I would like to have ventilated seats. You do have your rear AC, AC events, USB-C, USB-A. Like I said, very comfy, all the same finishes. Even the way they put the stitching and the leather on the old crap panel lets you know that you're in something special. Pull this down. Charmin approved, two ply, maybe even triple ply. And then, like I said, the way they did the seats is phenomenal in here. You got your secret compartment. That's where you could keep your Beanie Babies. So I know Steven is a big fan of collecting Beanie Babies. He still has them ever since he was a kid. You could keep them in there, and then his plan is to sell them and then get himself uh, some type of performance car. So let's wish him some luck. And then underneath here, you got tons of room. Hide whatever you want. The only thing is, if you get caught, that's on you. That's not on me, and it's definitely not on GMC if you're hiding things from your loved ones. Never a good thing. But why don't we go ahead, let's see how this thing drives on-road and off-road in this AT4X. All right, guys, we're going to test out the off-roading capability. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put it into four high, and it's real easy to do because you just hit the four with the up arrow, and it goes right into four high. For that is all we're gonna need for this section here. What I did was, is I set up this test track with these panels that I laid out over some of the terrain to really give a unique driving experience. Because I really wanna show how that Multimatic suspension, that dual spool valve technology does the business. So if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. So as you can see, the action in the suspension really does a good job of isolating everything. It's not all coming into the cabin, which is great. But it really allows you to stay focused and in charge behind the wheel, which is awesome. 
All right, guys, now I wanna showcase, I'm using the forward-facing camera and the 360-degree camera to get me through this area where there's some overgrown shrubbery and, and bushes and stuff, and it allows you to see very clearly what is in front of you. The only problem is, is that you have to go back in, which I'm going in now, I'm gonna hit cameras and bring it back up because once you get up to a certain speed, it does disappear. But here we are, as you can see, going down, and it allows you to really feel confident about where you're going. And with this being a large truck, you wanna feel confident because it is a large truck, and you obviously don't wanna damage your beauty, especially that volcanic red. But as you can see, on our Radies Rides test course here, it really allows us to showcase the action of the Multimatic suspension and just being very composed and handling very, very well. I mean, look at this. And we have that sugar sand that Florida is known for that really could test a truck's 4x4 system. And with this almost 9,000 pound truck, I'm able to navigate through it very, very easily. I mean, look at this. Very nice. And this is what's so impressive is that you're getting this off-road truck action but you're also getting it in a full 2500 hd that's the amazing thing are you ready for the sippy hole here we go in the sippy hole yeah there we go going right through it right through it all right guys driving this vehicle really really amazing just what it's capable of we're gonna go back through the sippy hole are you ready I love this action. On throttle, here we go, through the sippy hole, woo! Yeah, turn on the windshield wipers here. Let me get those going for you, clean up your view. But that's what's so great about this truck is that it's so versatile, so versatile and such a joy to drive. And then like I said, you could go pick up the kids from school, you could go through just about anything and i'm freaking proving it with this that's for sure here we go yeah nice really doing an amazing job here with that multi-matic suspension absolutely phenomenal Woo! yeah <laughs> ride them cowboy but you know what it's not just about the off-roading in this it's also about the on-roading and that's what we're going to do now is get to that on-road area and show you just how well this truck drives Great news guys as we go right back to two high so we're real well drive on oh, throttle here we go 10 speed drops down and we are off and running nice smooth shifts from the 10 speed but that's what's so great about this truck it's so freaking versatile you could tow your track vehicle to the racetrack, you could go out to dinner with your significant other, or you could pick the kids up from school. You could do the whole shabam in this vehicle. It's that versatile, especially when it comes to the off-roading. It blows my mind how nimble it feels, even though you're in an almost 9,000 pound truck. Getting to the infotainment system, well within reach. And then of course the AC controls, everything is all tactile in here. I love the way it's not all in the freaking screen. And the nice thing is driving down the highway with that Multimatic suspension, it absorbs the bumps really well and it feels really good. And I think that is where the special sauce is, of course, is in that dual spool valve technology and of course that turbo diesel Duramax engine. But I hope that this has been a good overall review for you. We're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been a crazy kind of day with this GMC Sierra 2500HD AT4X AEV edition. Say that 10 times fast. But I definitely wanna thank everybody at GMC for getting us access to this press fleet vehicle. Let me know what you think. Is this the best way to go, or are you gonna go Ford Tremor? I'm curious to see what you're gonna say in the comment section, so are the people at GMC. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button, I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, 
Thank you for being part of the Raised Rice family. Of course, we need to give it up to the man behind the lens. Who is that? One man only, Flood, Stephen Flood. Shaken but not stirred. Thank you, Stephen, for your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.